because you've played so long doesn't give you the right to slacken off. It works the opposite. It means you've got to you've got to prove yourself again. To Petri, 18-year-old in his uh, first game. The first day of training, remember that David King was the first bloke to come up and introduce himself. I'll never forget that. And then back in the day, we did partner stretching, and after we jogged two laps, that was the warm up. We did some partner stretching, and Corey McKernan came up to me, and he was my first bloke that I did a partner stretch with at the footy club. So I've never forgotten those things. So many legends. I remember watching Johnny Blakey, who must have been 32, 33 when. I first started just watching him train and hearing stories of him doing extra running sessions away from the footy club and he was one bloke that I made sure I watched and observed. In the vicinity of Carey, it's oh! magnificent! Having Wayne Carey the best centre-half forward in the league to learn and to watch off, Corey McKernan as well. So they're two guys who you know, played similar positions too, to see what they did at training and how they marked the footy and how they did their weights and how much presence those two guys had on the footy field was something that I watched from the day I got here. Uh, yeah, like all kids, dreamt of playing for the side I barracked for. That was Essendon as a kid, loved the Bombers, until I turned, you know, I was probably 16, 17, playing in the TAC Cup for the North Ballarat Rebels. That was when I started to think, well, maybe there might be a career in this. And it was just a, I mean, it was a dream to play AFL, but it was never the be-all, end-all for me as a kid. Three needs to go. He's got two to... Oh! oh that's a big <laughs> jump! For oh! me! I still think I'm really competitive. I think that's what I've based my whole career around, is being competitive in the air when the footy's coming in long and high, but also when the footy hits the deck to remain in the contest and not just become a statue when the footy hits the ground. Gives it. Petrie sends it high. It's high. It's a goal! The physical stuff's always been something that I've liked and I've enjoyed. I've always completed every training session throughout the pre-season, in-season. I've never been one to, to miss sessions. So the physical stuff's been good because it's the best part of it. But what we've been trying to do was, this, I'm, this yeah, week... Yeah, I'm trying to... Here you go. Go two. Spin, spin. The mental stuff can challenge you at times and it generally involves around the form of yourself and the team. When you're not going so well and the team's not going well, you can question yourself a little bit and it's hard to overcome that. Harvey only had a split second to sum it up. Oh, oh boom, I want a kick. Brent Harvey is the example of, I've never heard in his language him talk about retirement or, or have putting an end date on his career. So I'm not going to put one on mine. Over the back it comes, Petrie around the corner, snap, goal! He's got it! Yeah, it's what drives you. It's, it's what it's what you train hard for every day. And the last two seasons have been the most enjoyable that I've experienced. You know, 2014 and 2015 playing in preliminary finals. It's, 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 you just can't beat it. Like, I can only begin to imagine what it's like for the guys at Hawthorne who have won three in a row, have run four in the last, what is it, seven years. Um, we're getting closer. Um, still got a long way to go. I think the new, the new thing is that Winning one flag isn't oh, isn't an achievement, isn't success, but I think winning two or three in a row, or three across a four or five year period, that's, that's the new benchmark for what great sides are about, and hopefully I could be a part of one of those.